So, here we go. On the ID situation that's going on. So, pretty much, here's what they're saying. And I have called a couple places to find out what the hell the deal was. Which, uh, the lower echelon that you have to deal with really don't know what's going on because they just follow the tow line of what they're told to what to do and it's a job and they collect checks and and their benefits and their retirement and they don't question nothing because they're just the part of the they're a gear in the gearbox <laughs> so they don't know what's going on and what gear it is in or whatever until they're asked to do their job so what we have here is that they're saying that in 2020 of October 1st, our licenses or IDs that is not compliant are um, invalid and that's considered a fake ID. So let's just put it in this terms, ladies and gentlemen. If they're saying that our current IDs and our current driver's licenses that is also used with an ID that it took you to get a birth certificate to get to prove who you were and another form of ID at the time when you did originally do it, they're saying that they're fake. So then what that means is if they're fake and they're issued by them, then they've been charging us and extorting money from us, giving us fake IDs. So they have committed fraud, which is a, a legal crime. This one right here is Arizona. This one is, uh, I'm, ser I'm sorry, that one's California. This one is Arizona. Same thing. So pretty much what they're saying, again, that the driver's license or the ID card that you have right now, it's actually fake. It's not considered a valid official ID and they can actually reject your identification and the list to get an ID that you have to have a, a birth certificate, social security or uh, an IRS return form um, uh a payment, uh, uh, I mean, anything that can prove that who you are. When you've already established your identification, when you originally received your ID or your driver's license. So, pretty much, um, this is crazy because they're telling us that they're they're fake, <clears throat> excuse me, right now. They're actually saying they're, that they're fake. And, and oh, and <laughs> really? Uh, enter your personal information, provide details for replacement, view fee brief breakdown, pay fee, view and print email and confirmation, and provide feedback. Woo. Okay, so here's the craziest thing is something else I noticed that, it says voluntary travel ID. Well, if it's voluntary, why am I having to get an ID? I mean, anything that's voluntary is not a requirement from anything above then. It's voluntary. I either can or cannot. So basically what you're saying is so this is retarded, people. Is you don't say you can voluntarily do something, but then say that you're going to be forced to do something or you can't comply or we will not allow you unless you have complied to these voluntarily. <laughs> and we all know that when it, it comes down to this word voluntary, they're going to hold a gun to your head if you haven't volunteered to be voluntary to the current situation. So realistically, it's a bunch of hogwash. And see what it's saying right there, and you can see that, that new driver's license and ID card requirements starting October 2020. Okay. 
So what are we? What are they going to do? So you're, they're going to restrict us from traveling uh, uh, between states. Uh, you can't board an airplane. You can't do a lot of things. You probably won't be able to get a bank account and such. And that uh, this is crazy, people, because this is another infringement. Absolutely. And remember, when we give up our freedoms for more security. We gave up our freedoms. And it's absolutely the truth that you know that they can't protect us. They won't protect us. It's a proven fact. Look at all the crazy stuff that goes in and around on this country. It happens. Then they show up. So that means that they cannot protect you. It's just an absolute reality. And if anybody is stupid enough to believe that these people are going to protect you, you're pretty much a stupid person. Because they're not. I mean, look at that stupid uh, event that happened in Florida. They had people there with weapons that could have stopped the so-called shooter, but they did nothing. And another agency had to come in and actually come <laughs> go in and do something, which is pretty surprising that the current agency that was there, there on the premises, did nothing to stop this shooter. So... There's a lot of questions to be asked because of the events and how they went down and also what is being said after the fact, the post of the event, which you can kind of see it's a full-blown agenda. I mean, it's pretty obvious that when they come out like almost immediately and they have a, a whole script of what's going on and what their, their agenda is, you kind of make you wonder if that was really real or not due to the fact of, of, the, of the emotional reaction and the well-planned uh, feedback to the post-event. So here we are again in the same situation with the same problems, and they're encroaching every step of the way with this entrapment, because this is entrapment is what they're doing. And now think about this. If you have to get this current ID to be able to prove who you are, which you've already have proven who you were to get the fake ID that they're claiming that's non-compliant because they're going to call it a fake ID. And if the current official organization that, <coughs> excuse me again, that uh, uh, issued these IDs and these driver's licenses, and now they're considering them uh, false or, or whatever, then there are the criminal because they're the ones that made the uh, fictitious driver's license and <laughs> IDs, okay? And how can you say that now we're the official agency that's going to reissue a an official ID that we had issued already and said it was official and we proved who you were, now that's no good and you have to do it all over again. Seriously? I mean, people, don't you get the, the, the reality of this? You already proved who you were. And now they're saying that that particular ID or driver's license is going to be invalid when you already jumped through circus hoops and hurdles and acted like a circus monkey and lion on stage for them to get your driver's license or ID. Really? I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going to allow this insanity going on because you're, you, we, they keep making us act like damn circus animals? And that's one of the problems right there. And we're doing it. We're jumping. We're, they they got to be laughing at us is the way I look at it. This is how stupid we are. This isn't going to do anything other than it's more encroachments. This is ridiculous. We all know this is ridiculous. Why? Again, why would you have to prove who you are when you've already, you already proved who you are originally to get the, ID or driver's license that you currently have in possession. So what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? And they're saying their own issued ID and driver's license is fictitious and invalid. 
So they've been stealing money from us. Think about that. 